I remember feeling a little pop, but I was like, oh no, like that's nothing, whatever. And um, I think I cried a little because it hurt really bad. Uh, but then got up, tried to shake it off, um, continue with practice. And then I remember trying to hit after and my elbow was just like really clunky. It didn't feel like it was moving as smoothly as it did before. And after a while, it just still wasn't getting better. And so I remember them saying like, okay, we should probably get an MRI just to rule anything serious out. The impact immediately was certainly shock. I, I remember vividly her and I sitting um, in the, the lobby over at our medical center waiting to um, go back and see Dr. Colosimo. We knew that there was something up. We weren't really sure exactly what it was and um, kind of getting that punch. You know, I mean, you, you don't even know how to respond. The type of injury that she had was what's called the tear of the ulnar collateral ligament. The ulnar collateral ligament is the major stabilizing ligament of the elbow. It's an injury that you usually see in overhead athletes, such as baseball players, probably most commonly. Um, we see them in volleyball players, javelin throwers, etc. So throwing athletes mostly because there's a tremendous amount of strain on that medial aspect of the elbow. She couldn't continue. She had an unstable elbow with a painful elbow. And the only cure for that is to go ahead and reconstruct that elbow. We felt good in the sense that we knew this was an injury that potentially she could come back stronger. Knowing that um, we had Colosimo, Dr. Colosimo doing the surgery and his positive feedback and his energy, we were able to feed off of that. Hey, we, you know, I will get you back. You will be stronger. You know, we can never promise anything out of surgeries, but I am confident that we'll have you back on the court. You know, you see all these different athletes in the training room going through their surgery and recovery and all stuff like that but you never think that like that will be you in that position. Essentially what you're doing is recreating anatomically the elbow, the elbow, um, the ligament of the elbow, the ulnar collateral ligament. And essentially we use a part of a tissue in the arm called the palmaris, uh, which is very similar to the size of the normal or virgin ulnar collateral ligament of the elbow essentially weave it back into the appropriate position. The hardest part was gaining my range of motion and then getting my strength back slowly and then reintroducing volleyball to all of that. Twelve opportunities in the Olympics to win gold over the, you know, the history of indoor volleyball for women. This is the 13th time it's ever been done. It's only been 109 athletes involved in that process. So she's one of 109 over how many years in Olympics. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Jordan was a, a delightful, that's the best word I can use to her. Always had a smile on her face, always positive, uh, was always excited and, and passionate about what she was doing. It's been an honor to know her and take care of her. And uh, again, an absolute thrill to watch her win the gold medal. I would say the coolest part about being in the Olympics is Obviously winning a gold medal, that was amazing, but just walking around the village and seeing all these athletes who are at the pinnacle of their sport and feeling connected because we've gone through a lot to get to that point. The value of UC Health and what it has brought, so Jordan's one story of many with our program and even our department, you know, we rely on, on UC Health on a daily basis. I think the value is incredible. I would say for anybody considering getting care at UC Health, you're in good hands, um, and I think that's the most reassuring thing. You have people who will genuinely care for you and um, for your well-being and want to see you reach whatever goals you have in life.